Hello, this is Amber with WaveRes, and today we are going to go over the confirmation text messages. So the confirmation text messages are set up automatically and they are sent at the time of booking with the customer. So that message is sent automatically, but you can set up a second message to sit alongside the confirmation text message to contain more information that you can set up. So in order to get to that setting, which is set per trip, you can go to settings, resources, and trips. And each trip has its own custom message you can set up, or you can set the same for all by just copying and pasting throughout all of your trips. But once you're inside of your trip settings, you'll go to the marketing tab and you'll see the confirmation text message. Now, this is the second message that is sent at the time the customer books. And I've typed in some information here, just some basic stuff here in our test account, just to see what it would look like. So you can see that and just put a basic information, arrive early, what to bring, the address, and a phone number. It's common information, but you can put anything in here. I think there is a 500 character count max somewhere around in there. So in order to show you what this is going to look like, we'll go ahead and make a test reservation. So make a new reservation for tomorrow at 9 a.m. We'll do a full day. And this is just an option that we have set to required. I'll put that in there. I'm going to fill out my information so that we can get it to my phone number so that you can see what it looks like. And we're not going to send an email confirmation. We'll just do a cash one, complete booking. Okay, so we should get those text messages here shortly. We can see what those look like. There we go. It's coming now. So the first confirmation text message came in. And here's the second one too. So you can see that. So it does say your booking's been received. It gives me a link to go and view the voucher. Oh, I'm sorry, that came up in the wrong screen there. Copy that link and bring it in here. All right, so it's going to show us our order voucher. We can click get voucher and see all the voucher information associated with that trip that we just booked. Back here. All right, and on that second message here, it does give us that information that I typed. Um, the address is clickable, phone number is clickable, very convenient for somebody just to have on hand. So that is the confirmation text message and the additional text message that you can set up. Uh, it does let them know not to respond directly. If they respond, it's not going to send you anything. It's just for their information only. Move that out of the way here. So in order to resend uh, confirmation, say they didn't get it or maybe you typed the phone number in wrong if you did you can just change the phone number here um, and then we can resend that order confirmation it'll give us text message or email if there is an email supply and then hit send and that is going to resend that confirmation text message both the first and the second one so that they'll get both in case you type something wrong or that they didn't get it you can see it sent both of those messages. And they arrive pretty instantly. Uh, it does send it at the time of booking, both internally and externally, so no problems there. But that is what the text messages look like and how to set them up.